All right, now that I've found washers from other GPUs, I've put on the block almost. <clears throat> a PVC washer is what I'm using, by the way, not like a metal washer. These particular ones are red. I would recommend not using metal washers because that kind of probably A defeats the purpose, um, which is generally to make sure that you don't have metal touching the board. Also, so that you don't flex or break the board either. Um, so what you do is you take, oops, I'll drop them. You take one of these screws. There's two different kinds. There's a small one and a large one. Just a heads up. Take it, put them through. Now, whenever you're mounting this block, I suggest you uh, take a deep breath because it is a pain. Um, you have to put the standoffs, as we saw earlier, on with some glue. Anytime you bump it or move it, that glue is no longer that adhesive. When I mean glue, not Elmer's glue, I mean you're just tuning in. Use a thermal paste. I use the cheap thermal paste. I use the MX2, I think that it came with, some of the graphics cards. They did not come with any thermal paste in my particular uh, box from my SR2 water block, which I thought was odd as well. But regardless, better or OCZ freeze or um, shoot there's so many di IC diamond other stuff like that it's good stuff um, alright so the next one is finding which ones they all go in is the next one is this one right here I'm pretty sure let's see generally tighten it down to see if it catches other thing I do is I bring a flashlight so that I can see down and make sure that the little standoffs are actually being aligned with the screw so that way I'm not screwing straight in and forgetting about the washer. Yay mag lights. Um, once again, be very careful. I'm doing this on my lap with articles of clothing. Make sure you're grounded. I'm being sure that right now if you look if you could see behind me I'm touching a metal chair which is touching the back of my foot which is touching the ground and I'm trying not to make much movement on the carpet generally it's better to do this on uh, a mat if you have an anti-static mat or something like that that's generally your better bet just make sure you're grounded and you don't shuffle around and don't shock the board because one little shock that's it it's toast so last couple of screws with washers And we'll get these attached. Do this one like that. And line it up. Should be one more. Maybe right there. Feels like it's catching. Once you feel it catches, don't overturn it because you'll end up stripping your. Don't feel it catching. Be careful whenever you're doing it that you don't flex your board trying to force it in. This one doesn't appear to want to catch, though it is one that needs to be screwed in, making this rather difficult. So, there we go, maybe, maybe not, alright, that one does not want to screw in, so I'll have to look at that and see what went wrong. The next step is, after you get them all in, will be to mount the stock it has like a little bit of thermal paste in the back into that and it will go over the back over here they give you longer screws like this make sure you use the longer ones for these whatever you don't over tighten I'll stress that again because you over tighten and 
you hear a crunch noise, and that's it. It's dead. Unless by some stroke of luck, which I don't ever have. So, the last one will go back over here. But that's the next one is mounting this one, which is a two piece for the back side of this board, which if you notice, a full coverage block only covers part of it, but does not reach the second in the back. I need to cover that where the thermal tape is. And once that's covered, we'll be good to go. So I'm going to set that up, get that ready to go, and uh, we'll go to the next video.